Welcome to the New Orleans Historical Pharmacy Museum, a place for both painless and painful procedures. Founded in 1823 by the first licensed pharmacist in the U.S., Louis J. Dufio Jr., the historical contents of the building are still preserved and open to the public today. The pharmacy offered treatments for various ailments. These included leeches, silver pills, arsenic, absinthe, and other experimental treatments. Show globes were shaped bottles filled with colored liquids displayed in the front window of the pharmacy. They were used to notify the public of current plagues and remedies available. Inside you could experience shocking things and purchase now illegal potions and herbs. Bloodletting, also known as depletion therapy, was practiced until the late 1800s. Pharmacies also commonly had soda fountains. They'd sell tonic colas, which contained anti-malarial drugs. And with the invention of anesthesia, pain was less painful. In 1804, a law was passed requiring a license to practice medicine. This put holistic medicine practically out of business. In 1857, ownership of the pharmacy was transferred to Dr. Joseph Dupas, who performed experiments on pregnant women and still haunts the museum to this day. Today you can visit the New Orleans Pharmacy Museum and learn about the haunted past of health remedies.